Hello and welcome again to this edition of SpaceX News. Today we'll be looking again at the progress SpaceX is making on building Starship at Boca Chica. Work has been continuing day and night through fog and rain, through wind and fire. Here you can see sparks flying. The single ring segments are continuing to be made and are being welded together. That steel there looks gorgeous. That deep grey of the steel reflecting off itself with light from a blue sky. Now the shed's coming on. The official name for this is now the High Bay, according to a tweet from Elon Musk, who also confirmed that this is a bay for stacking the Starship engine, propellant, tanks and fairings. <laughs> Whoa! Look at that up there. The, those cherry pickers, the moment at the top of those from the wind shear, those cherry pickers will be shaking. And there's a lot of wind in Boca Chica. So that, those guys must be used to it. I would be terrified being up there. These guys are just getting on with it. My goodness. And we have the little shed. Now the biggest change has been the stacking of cylinder segments, which you can see here are being attached together and then welded. And SpaceX has been solving the problem of the wind affecting weld quality by having hooded cherry pickers. Ingenious. I wonder what the air is like to breathe inside one of those hoods when you're welding, because it gives off fumes. That was quite a dramatic footage of one of the ring segments being pulled in by the heat of a weld that it came in quite quickly. And this was fixed with what Elon Musk described as a persuader hammer. <laughs> now this, I believe, is the bottom segment where there will be the engines. Now there's no tanks inside this ring segment to brace the structure and give it extra strength. So I understand these vertical lines are where brackets have been spot welded on the inside to give it that extra strength that it needs. And we have a new arrival at Boca Chica, this enormous crane, which has got to be to stack the very large sections that are coming together now. And the closer we get to the final starship, the bigger the cranes have to be. You can see these enormous counterweights, 10 tons each, and there are, are at least 13 that I can count. Yeah, this guy does move his hand out of the way. Here we have a cheeky bird having a fly through the tent, having a quick peek at what's inside. Pity you can't report back. Oh, what do we have here? We have a nose cone. Now, Elon Musk has taken this footage inside the tent of all the different nose cones that are being made, and it looks like there are two nose cones that are being produced. So it looks like they're really not going to use the nose cone they built previously and which remains in the yard. That is what is going to go on the very top. That is the tip of the nose cone. And that's what it looks like. That has to be strong enough to withstand supersonic speeds. And I think it would make a good fruit bowl. <laughs> you could stick three legs on that, turn it upside down and turn it into a barbie. So let's put all these nose cone sections together and just confirm we do have enough for two and yes they do fit and there we have it this is the launch pad it looks like Starship's going to be taking off from this structure here rather than from its own legs or perhaps this structure will be removed prior to launch no that's going to stay there I think Starship's going to actually launch from the top of that I think it's going to be placed on top of that with the big crane that we just saw earlier. And it's amazing how fast we are moving towards a likely launch, I think maybe within the next month. Now these tanks that arrived, I was thinking maybe it was fuel. I don't think it is, I think it's Argon that they're delivering for the welders. And that's all for this episode of SpaceX News. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed, feel free to do so, and I'll see you again soon.